morning, this is RJ Podeski, and today we are going to build a youth hostel app uh, for our Android Studio that displays an image um, and a button that takes us to some detail information about the youth hostel. So we're going to start by starting a new Android Studio project, and we are going to call our application Hostel App and click on Next. Going to select our Android 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich for phone and tablet and click Next and we will start with a basic activity. And we will leave the defaults here for main activity and click on Finish and let Android Studio put all of the defaults in for us. Now that our, all of our defaults are built, I'm going to go ahead and delete my Hello World default text here. And then I'm going to go into the strings.xml file. And we're going to get some default text set up for our application using the translation editor. So we'll keep this as hostile app, and then I'm going to add some more details here about uh, the address location and the other pricing details I want to add for uh, my hostel app. Okay, I've got all of my uh, variables added to my translation editor. You can see that I've got uh, one for my button, my image description, my address city, my price range, and then the title that I will display as well. So from here I'm going to go ahead and save my app close my translations editor and you can see they're reflected here in the strings.xml file as well. And then I'm going to be back to my main activity pane. Uh, from here in the uh, palette I'm going to select text view and I'm going to drag that onto the emulator and I'm going to center it, move it down just a hair. going to name my property ID as TXT title and from text view I'm going to select the three ellipses once my computer catches up with me here select the three ellipses and we're going to select TXT title see that that changes here and we're going to change the size to 40 SP it's a little large maybe we can resize things a bit do a little trial and error until that gets sized properly there in the middle of my screen okay I want to get an image here on my main screen, so I'm going to pull up data location of the image that I want. I'm going to click and drag that into my drawable folder. I'm not recognizing that quite yet. We can do it this way too. I was hoping to click and drag, but instead I'm going to right-click and copy and inside here I'm going to paste the image of hostel.png uh, and so now I have it inside of my drawable folder so I can reference it in uh, my application. Right, I'm going to scroll down on my palette until I get to my image view control. I'm going to drag that into the middle of my emulator window. 
It's going to ask me to select a resource. I'm going to select my hostile image and click OK. And we'll kind of center that up just a little bit. And then we will change this to TXT image, or excuse me, IMG recipe. And in our content description, we will add our description resource for those with um, uh, visual disabilities. All right. Our next step is to add a button control. So from the palette, I'm going to drag that down here into the middle. And we are going to change our ID to BTN Hostel, and our text will use the three ellipses again, and then we will select BTN Hostel here so that Hostel information shows up as our button, and we'll change the text size of this to, let's try 32 SP. And I want to move that up away from the email icon there in the bottom right. All right, we've got our main activity set up. I'm going to go ahead and save my application. And just to kind of save on resources here, I'm going to close this. And I'm also going to close mainactivity.java. My project's still open, though. From here, I'm going to add a second class to my project. So I'm going to right-click on my net.androidbootcamp hostel app. I'm going to select a new activity and then I'm going to select a blank, or excuse me, a basic activity. And from here I'm going to call this details. This is going to create a new class called Activity Details. Going to leave the rest of this as the default and click Finish. So now we have a new screen called Details that is built for us. We're now going to build the rest of the details into our app and put some text controls on here. We'll add TXT title again. Make sure that's centered nicely. some more controls here as well for our address. I'm going to repeat this process for state or city as well. Might have to play with the sizing of the text to get it to center the way we want. All right, so we've got our Emulator built here with our second screen that shows the detail for Hostel San Filippo Neri in Modena, Italy, and the cost range of $42 to $48 per night. And if I look at the details here of the code, we can view and show line numbers because it's always a little bit more helpful when looking at code is showing those line numbers. Now we're going to add some detail back to our activity uh, main.java so that we can add the button action to our application. Alright, we're now going to have our main activity.java open back up so we can 
code our secondary activity by providing an action on our button. So we're going to simplify some code here and get rid of some things. Alright, we've got things cleaned up here a little bit, but we do need to import our button widget as well into our class. So now we've got referenceability there. We'll resolve that. And this needs to be changed to reference our new class that we've created. And if all goes well, we don't have any red squiggly lines, uh, which means we don't have any unresolved references. So notice that this creates the action for our button to um, actually use the button hostel that we created. So it's got a listener for that that on click starts the new activity to send it to our details class, which is our secondary screen. So we have our hostel information main screen where we can click on the button and then we have our detail that it should go to when we run our emulator. So we'll click on play and then we will select our Nexus 5 API 24 and we will let this crank out, compile, and then generate the emulator. So to give you an idea, it took my machine about four minutes for my emulator to uh, start up, boot, go through the emulated phone boot process, and uh, then display my app. You can see my hostel, hotel, excuse me, Hostel San Filippo Neri um, with our image and our hostel information button. That if we click, then we can see the details of Hostel San Filippo Neri, the address location, Modena, Italy, and then our cost range a night as well. Um, this did fit on uh, my screen properly during the uh, during this process here. So there might be some slight differences here. I may go back in and resolve this issue so that this all fits on one line by shrinking my font size. But otherwise, this looks good to go. So thanks for tuning in.